Hi everyone, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So we are all in a different season with this quarantine and staying inside and having all businesses shut down and whatnot. So it makes celebrating birthdays a little bit more difficult. So uh, my little boy Sawyer turned four on the uh, 25th of March and I was really bummed that we had to cancel his birthday party. We couldn't take him to any of the indoor places like play places that I originally had planned. We can't go out to dinner, none of that stuff. So um, it has definitely been a challenge in terms of figuring out like how it can still be fun celebrating inside with just you know our small family so grandparents not able to come friends and family not being able to come over so i just wanted to um, share this video with you guys because i know that my little one is not the only one with a birthday um, during this time so even my birthday is coming up april 12th and i think things are going to be a little different this year for my birthday as well but um, i wanted to share with you guys how you can still celebrate your kiddos birthdays even on quarantine lockdown so let's go ahead and hop into the video thing that i thought of doing was was making him a special breakfast but on top of that also having like a special birthday plate so no one else in the family is going to have a plate like this and Sawyer gets to eat off of the special birthday plate um, all day long so what I decided to go ahead and make for him is something really easy and it's fun fetty cake donuts so I'm gonna go ahead and whip these up really simple all you need to do is follow the instructions in the back I got this little mini donut tin from uh, Hobby Lobby and then I'm just going to go ahead bake those and then I'll let them cool overnight and then I'll go ahead and spray these um, I'll spread them with frosting and then I have a little um, candle right here that we can go ahead and sing to him in the morning time so we're going to sing to him all day long for his birthday so I have that for him so I'm going to go ahead and create his special birthday breakfast so this was the final product and they turned out super cute and super yummy if you ask me. So I'll go ahead and link the donut pan below as well. So I also got friends and family involved and I got a bunch of birthday cards sent to my house as well as my P.O. box and Sawyer had a ton of letters to open up on his birthday and he felt so special opening up each one of these birthday cards. So we also decorated our dining room area with happy birthday balloons and party favors, which I already had gotten them prior to the quarantine. And I also had all of his presents scattered on the table. And when he woke up, he was very, very surprised with everything that he received. I even made little like treat bags for the kids. So it was like an actual party. Well, can I have my cake pops, mommy? <laughs> Oh, you think mommy made you cake pops? So we also let him pick all of his meals. So for breakfast, he decided he wanted a cake pop for breakfast. So wish granted. So I don't on my toss. Well, don't touch them. Happy birthday. Oh, sibling love. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sawyer. Happy birthday to you. Good job. What did Nana get you? <laughs> oh. I want to eat them all. Oh, yes. What did Nana get you? He said, I want to eat them all. <laughs> what did Nana That's get you? Sawyer. That's not Sawyer. Wait, I want... So since we weren't able to actually take Sawyer out anywhere, what I decided to do, Chris had taken him to the grocery store and I decided to go ahead and make a blanket fort in the living room. And then we went ahead and watched Frozen 2 um, all under the blanket and the fort just to make it a little bit more special for him. And we even had some at-home s'mores as well. I kind of wanted to do like a at-home camp out for his birthday since we couldn't go out anywhere. I thought I would go ahead and bring the camp out inside of our house. So um, this turned out super fun and I'm really glad that this was a hit. So I also want to give you guys a few other suggestions on what you can do to make your child's birthday a little bit more special during this time. Or if you know an adult who has a birthday coming up, I'm going to share with you guys what I'm actually doing for a girl in my small group. So for the kiddos, most importantly, I mean, decorations are so much fun. So you can decorate their room with balloons when they fall asleep. You can do like a 
a streamer doorway. You can, there's so many different things you can do in terms of decor in the house. You can get your other kids involved. They can make like paper chains out of construction paper. You can make a bunch of signs, do homemade cards, all sorts of stuff. So um, you absolutely can do that. What we did with Sawyer is we let him pick whatever he wanted to eat that day. So he started the day with cake pops. He wanted a McDonald's Happy Meal and then pizza for dinner. So I took him through the drive-thru, got him out of the house, obviously in the drive-thru. Um, and then my husband went and picked up pizza that night. So he had 100% control over what he was eating, not to mention all the snacks that I allowed him to eat. Anytime he wanted something, I just gave it to him and let him have a free for all. He also had control over the TV. So he had all the picks on what he wanted to watch. So we were watching all sorts of random YouTube videos. And most of the time we make the kids alternate what they want to watch. So that's something you can do as well. Um, we also did FaceTime with the grandparents. And I also let his friends and family know um, some things on his birthday wish list. So throughout the day, we had some great timing for presents and he was getting packages delivered basically all day long. So from the moment he woke up to the time he went to bed and a few days even after that, he was receiving packages in the mail. He was receiving cards from family in the mail. He received cards from you guys. It was so much fun. So something else, my mom, she sent a care package for Sawyer. So it, it enclosed all of his favorite snacks. She also enclosed his presents. I went ahead and wrapped it for him. And that's one of his favorite things to do is open presents. So I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna wrap every little thing that he's getting for his birthday, even down to those donuts that my mom sent him because he loves opening presents. So that was definitely something he enjoyed doing as well um and something else you can do is a birthday survey so this would be really fun so i actually will pin one on pinterest and i actually have one in his little school book that i just picked up from his school with all of his preschool memories but this is what the little survey is I'm sure you've seen this floating around Pinterest. It's my birthday interview and it has different questions. So you have your child's name, favorite food, color, favorite show, when I grow up I want to be, uh, I like to play, my favorite book is, my favorite restaurant is, my best friend is, my favorite cartoon, my favorite place to go, and then your little one can go ahead and draw his photo. You can even um, videotape this. Something else you can do as a special activity to do as a family for your kid's birthday is bust out the old picture frames, share with them their photos from when they were first born. If you have any you know, videos on your Facebook timeline, usually they'll do like a memory on this day this happened type thing so you can show them old photos you can show them old videos that's something you can do um, you can plan an in-home themed um, activity to do so i did the in-home camp out so that's where the s'mores came into play and then we did the movie night so there are a ton of ways you guys you can go ahead and um, make a birthday special during this time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and trail into what you can do for an adult for their birthday. So, so I actually have a friend in my small group and her birthday's coming up. So what we decided to do is we're gonna do a car parade for her. So we're gonna show up at her house at a synchronized time and we're going to basically parade her neighborhood and sing her happy birthday. And then each one of us has something that we're going to um, pick up on the list. So we have someone bringing treats, I'm bringing um, decorations so she can have like an at-home celebration with her family. Someone else is bringing flowers, someone else is making cards so you can get together and do something like that. You could also do like a gift card train if you wanted to. Um, there are so many different things you can do. Actually, one of the girls from my small group, she's the one who dropped off the sack of um, s'mores for our in-home camp out. So that's what one of my friends did for Sawyer for his birthday. So that's something you can do. So something else that I love to do during my birthday is get take advantage of all the different freebies. And let me tell you guys, um, you can still take advantage of a lot of the freebies that you get from like different restaurants and you can just order pickup. So you can still be doing options for pickup, even 
IHOP encouraged it in their email, they had a little code for you to enter for your free birthday pancakes and you can just enter the code online. A lot of places are doing the freebie um, online or they are extending the freebie to a later date when everything starts opening up again. So just keep that in mind. So um, also, you could send the birthday person a box of wine. So I actually just placed an order from this company called Wink. It's W-I-N-C. My birthday's coming up and I thought, what better way than to celebrate with some wine with my husband? So um, I went ahead and ordered four bottles. So they have a deal where you get 50% off um, your first four bottles. So I ended up getting uh, four bottles of wine for like $33 shipped. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I'll leave a link below if you guys wanna go ahead and check out that company. But I thought $33 for four bottles of wine was a really good deal. So I went ahead and picked that up for myself. And with my birthday coming up, I, I, my love language is presents, so my mother-in-law, my mom, she went ahead and just said, okay, Gina, like, what do you want? So I had this master wish list, so I just kind of like dispersed it amongst my um, family. I told Nicole to send me some Lolly's granola because I haven't like pulled the trigger and actually purchased that for myself. So I was very close to um, getting a whole case of Rebel ice cream, but I didn't do that. So that might be something to add to a, a wish list to someone else to send me some Rebel ice cream. So um, I hope that this video helped you guys in terms of figuring out like what you can do to celebrate a birthday. Um, if you're an adult, like obviously, you know, your social gatherings are going to be a little different. Your kids are going to have a different experience by not being able to go to like amusement parks or restaurants or indoor play places or whatever it is. But just know, um, you know, so just know that coming from a mom's point of view, your effort is enough. Putting in that effort, whatever it is you can do, it's definitely enough. Because let me tell you this, I felt so guilty with... Um, not being able to give Sawyer what I wanted to give him originally in terms of celebrating his birthday. But at the end of the day, when I looked around and I saw that he was smiling, he was happy, I asked him if he had a good birthday and him telling me, yeah, mom, I had a really good birthday. Like that was, that just made my whole entire week because I felt so guilty as a mom that I wasn't giving him enough. And I just felt horrible about that. But at the end of it all, I realized, you know what? what i gave him was absolutely enough so just know the effort you're putting out there it is enough so i wanted to encourage you guys and just let you guys know that it's all going to be okay so i hope you guys enjoyed these tips on how you can celebrate your birthday at home and let me know in the comment section below if you have a birthday coming up so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up so i know you have enjoyed it subscribe to my channel and i will talk to you guys all later bye guys